Okay, now let's get the data out. So here we're going to want to, in our app, let's load the model var admin equals require models slash load up oh, admin model dot admin. So here we're going to want to get everything from the admin. To do that, do admin.find, pass to it a null parameter, meaning find everything. And the second parameter is a, a callback function. Function. Now this is JavaScript again, we're not using coffee. Ignore that for now. So what this is going to do is going to use the admin model, execute a Mongo find on it with no specific parameters, so we're not querying for age, location, anything like that. Whenever that's found, execute this function, whatever this function is. Node.js is asynchronous. What that means is this will run, and whatever's here will run next without regard to the result of this. So if we want the result of this to act, we have to put in this what's called a callback function. Just so we can see console.log in the callback. Let's not render anything yet. And here we're going to put console.log after admin.find. Let's rerun app.js. So we have an error. Cannot find models admin model. Oh, because I have to specify the path. So now we're listening. When we load this on port 3000, here it says after admin.find, which you'll notice is here. So we didn't actually get to the callback. We didn't get in the callback. Why? Same reason as before. We didn't load our DSN, so we actually don't know what database we're connecting to. Include mongoose. Connect to the DSN. Let's not worry about error handling for now. Restart, refresh, after the callback, and then in the callback. So you'll notice the order is switched here. First, after admin find gets executed, then in the callback. Even though technically this gets executed first, there is time required to access the database and get that. So it doesn't actually print out because this has already been called until afterwards. Callbacks are a difficult concept to wrap your head around. Give it some time. So that's not very useful in the callback. Let's actually output whatever we find. Whatever results we get, let's output that. So we're doing console log of res. Actually, we should probably call this result because we don't want to be repetitive with this res. If we start the server, I'm going to haveify this so we can see. Oh, beautiful. We have data. So now what we're going to want to do is we're going to pass the title of About Us. We're going to pass the data as the results. And in the next video, we will see how to get that out.